In this video, we're going to show that the Juno GI can be used as a guitar effects processor. Uh, all you have to do is hook up a guitar. It's very easy to do. So once we hook up our guitar, which we're going to do right now, and now all we have to do is press the audio input button. So that button is right here. Let's take a look at the audio input select and what we have available to us. We have the guitar. We can use a mic, be it a dynamic or a condenser, as the Juno GI also supports phantom power. Uh, stereo line in, if we want to, we can take two quarter inch cables and plug right into the back of a Juno GI. USB song, so we can use our song player and record songs directly into the Juno GI for use with recording. Next is USB audio. So if we plug in our Juno GI into our computer, we can go ahead and record audio directly from our computer into the Juno GI. So for our example, we're gonna use the guitar input right there. Now let's close this window and let's press the recorder view button. Now let's press the effects button. This will take us to our guitar effects. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of different options within here. I'm going to use my cursor buttons, and we're going to cursor down. And you see I have amp, EQ, noise suppression, effect, delay, chorus, and reverb. Let's go to the amp section and look at some of the choices that are available to us. I can press the edit button right here. And you can see just by spinning the dial wheel, I have a lot of different options as far as the type of amps I want to use. This is cool cursor down and you see I have some other options as far as setting up those amp simulators. Let's press the exit button. Now let's cursor over to the EQ section. So I can turn on and off my EQ, adjust it accordingly. Very easy to do and really helps you get that sound that you want. Let's exit out of here. Let's go to our noise suppressor. Press the edit button, and you can see I can adjust my noise right there. Now let's go over to the FX section. This is a fun section because, as you'll see, I'm getting a variety of boss pedal type effects right inside the Juno GI. This is really neat. So I can choose many different type of effects and then edit their individual parameters as well. Let's exit. Of course, let's go over to our delay. If I want, I can go ahead and turn it on just by spinning the dial wheel and press the edit button. And we can adjust that as we see fit. Same thing with chorus. Spin the dial wheel to turn it on. Press the edit button. I can go inside and adjust it. What type of chorus I'm doing and all the parameters within that chorus. Exit one more time. And now we can go to the reverb section, go to its edit, and you see I can adjust what type of reverbs that I'm gonna use. Now remember, this is for the guitar effect, so I can have different effects running simultaneously on my keyboard. So I, my keyboard sound can have an entirely different sound than my guitar effects. Also, I can play keyboards at the same time as my guitar is hooked up with its own effects running separately through the keyboard. Very cool option. Now if we cursor down and we look through the different guitar effects, you'll see that we have 130 preset guitar patches in here. Now these are all Boss GT10 class effects, so they're very good sounding effects, and once again, they are all editable. Don't forget that once you edit and create your own guitar patches, you can save them inside the user section of the Juno GI. This is the Guitar Bank user, and there are 100 spots for you to save your newly created or edited patches.